Hey guys, so it's Katie from Six Shooter Charlie and I am walking through the Dallas airport right now. I had to run and get some Whataburger. Um, I'm coming back home um, from a tiny little vacation that I took. I finally took some time off and went and saw my family for Halloween. And um, I've had some weird situations going on on my selling platforms, specifically eBay recently. And I want to ask some advice from some other people that are just not as emotionally involved as I am. Um, I've just run into some really nasty people recently and I don't know if it's just appropriate nowadays or like I was having this very long conversation with somebody in my family that because it Amazon and their expect you know the, the way that Amazon operates like is that creating the expectations for all these customers was it COVID and now we're just really horrible people just like, relationship wise like we just think it's okay to talk to people however the way we talk to them so I'm gonna go walk to my gate and I am gonna get my laptop out because I want to show the numbers and I want to be as transparent as possible about the situation and just ask like yeah what would you do in this situation Let's, because right now nice. i'm just trying to wear like my customer service hat and you know say all those fluffy nice things but in the back of my head i want to say some really ugly things and i i know it's not worth it to say those things but i want to see if there's other sellers out there that are having these situations come up and like what, what are you guys doing and what are you guys seeing and should i be ugly Okay guys, so I made it to my gate and got my laptop out and wanted to share this with you. And you know, I usually never complain and I always say like customers are allowed to say whatever they want. They're buying a product from you. You owe a customer service to them. But sometimes I just, I think there's just some people just take it too far. And I think like I was saying like with this whole like Amazon and like just how we've conditioned people um, over the last couple of years I don't think I think that the, some people have like lost the ability to realize that there are real people behind businesses and the products that they buy online like this isn't coming from some warehouse like there are people behind these businesses um, so this came on like a culmination of I had so many situations over the holiday like the Halloween holiday of just crazy things happening with customers and things that are just completely out of my control. People buying things, maybe not reading the description, getting mad, misusing eBay's return policy. I have a 30 day return policy for anything. I don't ask any questions, but there's been a bunch of customers recently that have been misusing the um, item not as described part of the eBay returns process, which I don't know if they understand this and maybe it's just they don't want to pay the shipping back because they're upset about the product they bought um, but it dings the seller like I get in it, it goes against my account my I, I spend so much money in advertising on eBay and everything else even though they'll still take my money but they'll suppress my listings because it's seen as I'm selling things that I'm not I'm not describing them correctly and which is not the truth and I think there were so many situations that happened over the last couple days and this one will seem trivial but I have another situation with another customer and it's all over a sweater like literally a sweater and all I asked was the person to use the right returns policy through eBay I was absolutely going to take said sweater back the customer had unrealistic expectations bombarded me with messages like and even my out of office was on and she even said hope you're having a great holiday here's my problem and I started responding to her because as a small business owner you don't take vacations and not talk to your customers I mean I, I, I was trying to do the right thing and it all blew up like I was getting just message after message after message and I couldn't respond fast enough and nothing I did made this customer happy and I just kept saying yes I will take it back but we got to do it the right way and you know I have to protect my business at some point like this is how I make my money um, I, I can't just keep putting all this time and money and effort into it and, 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 and not like have the expectation that I'm going to protect my business 
um, because the business is me. I am my business. Um, so I am not going to go into that whole situation because it ended up turning really, really ugly. And I ended up having to get eBay involved under like abusive buyer behavior and some of the things they were threatening and they were taking all kinds of weird screenshots of like other feedback and like threatening me with it with eBay. And I'm just like, why was any of this necessary? Okay. But so we'll get to the real situation. I'm like four minutes in. I mean, everybody knows that watches my videos. I ramble on about stuff, but I want to show this one because I was just so confused. And the knee jerk reaction for me was to put on my customer service hat and say all the nice and fluffy things that you're supposed to say because customers are always right and you want them to buy from you again and god forbid they report you to ebay because big bad ebay is going to come and shut down your account because a customer's upset and i understand it's not one customer but people don't understand the things that happen like yeah okay they make one report but all it takes is one other customer who is being an ugly person to decide they want to take you down so they apparently have a lot of time on their hands to do these things. So this is all over a lighter. Um, I have these lighters on my eBay store. They are Snoop Dogg. They're limited edition Bic lighters. They do not sell these in the stores anymore. I bought them to resell them. So I'm going to show you on here. Let me flip y'all around. Okay, so here it is new big lighter blah 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 you know here is the design because I sold a couple of the designs um, on one listing under a variation so I sold it for $14.96 it was free shipping I have changed all my listings over for the most part to free shipping um, because of you know buyer expectation sales tax I you know they pay that and I don't get to you know Obviously, that doesn't come to me. That goes to the state. Um, Fifteen seventy-five in an order total. So, and then shockingly on this one, I didn't get charged some sort of absorbent twenty-five percent eBay marketing fees. Like I do have my um, listings on eBay's dynamic. Um, like advertising to where like every day they kind of change the rate depending on you know sales and the marketing and exposure and you know what people are looking for in demand so um for some reason i didn't get charged that on this which was amazing but okay um 15.75 and then sales tax obviously i don't get that transaction fees i paid 225 and then i paid for shipping which is 381 which leaves me with 890 that does not even take into account what I paid for the item for what I paid in shipping materials to ship the item overhead warehousing touching the item taking pictures like none of that like obviously all that overhead and I've been you know just trying to like mark down and like get some of my inventory out so that I can get some cash flow and get some more room for some more inventory so then today I get this email through eBay and it's not actually even through like the order that it was placed on. It's just on like the item listing that basically says, uh, this is the second time I wrote you about being way overcharged for one big lighter. Um, are you for real? And I said, I'm like, I was like, oh my gosh, like what is going on? Did I not respond to somebody? That's not like me. And I went back, this is the only time I've ever sold anything to this person. So I was like, okay, like maybe they're just mistaken. And it says they go for around $3. And I thought I was getting four to seven of them. Misleading post, I want my money back. You can keep $3 and refund the rest and I will be in touch with eBay. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. When I read that earlier, I was like, who has the audacity? Like, I guess I just, I don't have the time in my life to go on these platforms and rail people for things I bought. Like, I was telling my sister, you know, recently I had bought a pair of what, uh, a pair of Miss Me jeans on eBay. And when I got them, they had a rip in them. And I was like, I don't remember that. Like, I, okay, like, weird. Um, so I went on the listing. And now, granted, it wasn't specifically written in the listing description, but it was in the pictures. And I just didn't look at the pictures good enough. That's my fault. Like, I'm going to be mad at that seller because of that? No, like, that, that's on me. And then I ought to be ashamed of myself. Ashamed of what? Like, that I bought something, I listed it on eBay 
you bought it. You never asked any questions. Maybe you were confused. Maybe you thought you were getting four to seven lighters for $15. You think that they should be $3 a piece. Okay, like that's fine. That's your opinion. Don't, don't buy from me then. Like, but now you're going to say, I need to be ashamed of myself. I'm allowed to keep the $3. Thank you so very much for the $3. But then you want to refund on the rest and that you'll get in touch with eBay. And I think that's what um, kind of my message while long winded and I wanted to be very transparent about all the things that happened. Um, I think that's where I'm having the issue is I think the anonymity of the internet and buying things online and the part where we have lost that businesses are people, that there's people behind them. Um, you know, I also saw this in my previous life where I did a lot of marketing um, and people just say really nasty, awful things. Um, not really that, that there's a person behind that. You're not talking to a business, you're talking to a person. Um, and that they're going to get a hold of e eBay about this? Like, like, what is, I guess I just don't understand what it is that they're wanting. And like in the previous customer, just yesterday, th like threatening me and my business over a sweater, a sweater that I said I would take back. Um, so I'm not real sure like where we've gotten to, where like this kind of, just behavior is okay and appropriate and I wanted to ask the other resellers um, I mean just even like on a customer basis like I guess I look at it and go okay if I was this customer well how would I feel um, and that's where I put my customer service hat on and start apologizing and then you know let me let me apologize for the way you feel um, you know and then I took a step back because after the whole sweater debacle and then this over a lighter like I have to like step back and say like am I going overboard to apologize for me and my business like that's not that's really not fair um and these kind of things just keep coming up and yes okay I will use eBay system of mitigation and everything else but that's also time and money that I'm wasting on doing that. So I guess like to ask all the resellers out there as well as, you know, like my customers and everything else, like how would you handle this situation? Because I immediately just get defensive over, over this is my, my time, this is my baby, this is my heart, this is all the things that I do and it's me. And I feel like I sometimes use that as um, I get very defensive because I'm so emotionally involved. You know, I'm, I'm so, invested in my company um that maybe i just need to reach out to other people that can look objectively at it and just be like okay like let's take all the emotion out of this and this is how i handle this or this is as a customer this is probably what i would have expected or this is the resolution that i think that i would have wanted so going ahead and please leave me some comments let's have a discussion about this um because i want to be able to handle this in a better more efficient manner but also i'm not going to do it um on the back of my company either um so let me know what you think um i know you guys are always very honest with me and uh i really appreciate it so i don't end up going to being a complete karen on somebody so thanks guys